just realised I've left the area uh, there. There we go. So, <clears throat> get that bloody thing out of the way. That's it. See it there. And uh, when you don't schedule a beer review, no laggy. Eh? Schedule a beer review, laggy. Does your nut in. So, from lowcostbeer.com, I actually bought this a month or two back. It's been a while. And it's Ayinga, Ayinga Lager. Um, touch of sediment on the bottom and in the bottle, but solid as they come, Panda Pot bottle. 4.9%, obviously it's a German Bavarian Lager. Um, not sure if I pressed public or unlisted. Hmm, okay. No one comes in. And I'll know why. So I'm going to pour this bad boy out and see where it goes. I don't know if I can check the settings. No, I didn't. Oh well, it is what it is. Usually would have thought someone would have roused on by now. Okay. So even after all this time, a good carbonation on there. You can see it, I don't know if you can see it in the glass. But yeah, very good carbonation, slightly hazy pour. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be or not. Um, nice aroma on it. Malty, malty aroma. I've got the funniest feeling I put it on unlisted. Oh no, I haven't. If I am, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, German, Bavarian, draft lager from um, low cost beer. A bit of malt on it. The only problem is, I've been, out, I've been upstairs scrubbing the floor in the toilet and all I can smell is bleach. So I need to get my blooming hands well away. Nice fruitiness to that. Not too bad. Good evening. Raggy Ragmaster. The bloke comes to the door and he says, um, says, is there Mr. Raggy Ragmaster in? I thought he's taking piss. And um, I says, what? And he says, look, Raggy Ragmaster. And I says, I'm, I'm Mr. Rag. Yes. <laughs> but he was all right. He thought it was funny as well. <laughs> Should be a very interesting Friday. I've tried to listen to it, prod it a bit. It's a good thing I open. Good thing I read that thing. Open this first, because usually I don't. But yeah, it's sitting in the um, um, front room. So yeah, bleach. Oh. I um. Spent the last two hours bleaching. Oh, good evening. Bleaching the floor in the bathroom. It's the grim job. No one likes cleaning bathrooms. And, uh, you know, it tends to be my job. So I've, I've been on my hands and knees with a brush, scrubbing everything, bleaching everything. And uh, you all need scissors. Right, yeah. I've got scissors. Um... So all now, all I now can smell is chuffing bleach. But there you go. So this is quite nice. Never had this before. A yinger. And say so it's been two months. I think it's been about two months since I bought it from um, low cost. It might even be longer. Still, the pot bottle was still solid. Uh, still tastes good. Nice twang to it, a bit of a fruitiness to it, easy going. Um, I'm doing three or maybe four beer reviews. The wife's gone out, she's gone um, Fight Club, where they punch, they punch punch bags. I go to work all day, so that's that's my blooming exercise done. Got on the ride on mower today, 10 minutes into getting on the ride on mower, it's just been fixed. 10 minutes in, all of a sudden, a guard fell off and I'm thinking, oh, that's not good. 
I reached down and thought, ah, that'll do. Carry on. Next, and then next minute, all of a sudden, there's this bit of a bang, and all of a sudden, turn it off. And later on in the day, <laughs> yeah, she gave me a good idea. She can try. Yeah. Later on in the day, um, well, I found a spring that had bounced off. So, yeah, so 10 minutes in, then I was back on the push mower. All good fun. Keeps you fit, though. Hey. I don't, I think if I didn't do push mowing at work, I'd be as fat as they come. You know, with all the beer you drink. Because um, obviously, good evening. So, I'm doing three beer reviews, or maybe four, because this is a, that's only a small bottle, and it's quite light, to be fair. So, I've got from Glass House Brewery, my first ever Glass House Brewery beer, and I've got Deep Seed and Tart Fruit Pale, whatever that means. I don't know if it's um, sour or not. And then from Black Iris, or both of them straight out of the fridge, it's Lacerated Sky. And it's an imperial red, so I'm looking forward to that. 9%, get in. <laughs> that is Raggy Avenue. Yes, yes, Raggy Bollocking Avenue and all. And uh, and I've also, just here, I've got me pinter. So, this won't be too long a review. But, uh, nice, you know, first time having it, German um, lager beer. Lager, German, we'll call it a lager, won't we? Um, Oktoberfest jobber, Bavarian, and um, yeah, going down a treat. It says something for low cost that these beers are lasting so long. I know Kent, I sent him some beers um, for his birthday, I think it was. And then what happened was he had a bit of a bad stomach or he was ill for a bit. So he actually didn't get around to reviewing some of these beers. One was about over four months. Mm -hmm. And I thought that's never going to taste any good. Mm -hmm. And it bloody did as well. So, um, yeah, and it, it just goes to show you that some of this draft stuff, especially what low cost do, because they've squirt a bit of summit in, you know, just um, so they carbonate back up again. And um, whereas if you go, if you go to like me with my bottles, I'll I'll go to the um, pubs and get a pint or, or whatever, you know. But because it's not anything squirted in, it don't, they don't really last that long. Whereas with this, yeah, it's lasting. It's lasted two months, and I've still got a couple more bottles which I need to get reviewed. I need to prioritize reviewing. Good evening, Nagan. How are you, mate? Still not seen these chuffing um, tickets for um, Robin Hood Beer. It's, it's definitely happening, but the tickets. With the emergence of craft beers and beer festivals, though, I reckon it will be flipping rammed. Um, I reckon it will be around the outside. I don't think it will be on the cricket pitch. I think it'll be more around the outside and, and any buildings that they've got. Uh, the outside of the, the cricket stadium is quite vast, to be fair. It's quite a, a, an area. Um, yeah, because, I mean, the tap room's in Nottingham. I can't I can't tell you how many good bloody pubs there are. It's, it is amazing. I mean, I haven't been drinking properly in Nottingham since 2017 time. Yeah, because uh, that's when our mate stitched us. Yeah. <laughs> Can't fault him, can you? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> when the hand's on the other foot. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. And yes, yeah, so that's about the last time we used to, because we, we used to go fairly often, not overly often. And since then, the emergence of blooming tap rooms, uh, micro pubs, craft beer pubs, it has just exploded craft beer caps and stuff and uh, it's like um, you've got the pub element of Nottingham and then you've got these this tap room craft beer element which you don't get the rough side in them you don't get the lager lights that want to fight you are breeding a visit yeah watch your backside let, let me go in near the bushes <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, it's uh, yeah, it's not the same place as it was. No, no. I wish I could remember all the stories. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Yeah, 20 years of working there, there's a hell of a lot of stories. We used to see something every day, you know. It's not like where I am at the moment. Um, For five nights. Jesus. One will have to... Um, if you're here in Nottingham for five nights, one will have to uh, come up the beer room. And... Uh, yeah, we'll have to do some sampling in the beer room, beer reviews in the beer room. I'm sure the wife won't mind. She can, we can always give you a lift back to the hotel afterwards, as long as I'm not too steaming. Because obviously work and stuff. Although I may book some extra time off, because like most people, we've all got bloody holidays to burn, haven't we? I'm, book, I'm off next Thursday, next week. Uh, Friday's the Craft Beer Festival, so I'm off on the Friday. And uh, Craig's coming down Friday, Saturday and the Sunday. So I thought he was here on the Thursday. So he's actually saved me one, actually, because I was going to get steaming on the Thursday as well. So good evening, Jack Man. How are you, mate? So, yeah, I was going to get steaming on three days. But luckily now it's two days of steaming and then one day of just walking around and probably getting some beers. I've got a few special beers for him, to, for the good fella to review when he's in Nottingham at some stage during his journey here, whether it be the Sunday or be the uh, Friday or Saturday, won't be the Friday. That'd be awesome. Be awesome for, to have a few of us there, to be fair. Whilst it's good for two, it's always better when there's a few more of you. Because you, in a, in a group, it becomes more... Get some free tickets as well. Fair play there, mate. Um, in a group, it becomes... It, it's, it's more of a laugh because you settle down quicker. Although once I've had a drink, I don't give a shite anyway, most of the time, you know. Um, I've got breweries. Um, Jagman's on about Nottingham Craft Beer Festival, not the actual Robin Hood. Although Robin Hood as well will go in on the Friday. That will be a laugh, because I know Mersey Beers is coming. I think Bullman's coming. I think Harry Blue Nose Beer Reviews is coming. Craig can't, for obvious reasons, because of last year. Um, fair play to him, poor fella. But, um, yeah, it, that, that'll be some, some turn up that will. And uh, I've got a little bit of uh, summit to uh, sort out this weekend. Yeah, I reckon it'll be a right laugh. And especially if we've seen each other's before and that, you know, that familiarity. And uh, there's a chance that, some Nottingham brewers could join us <laughs> for Robin Hood Beer Festival because I, I'm in contact with a, with a Nottingham brewer uh, who works for a certain brewery. And uh, he was on about coming down and more the merrier, yeah. And his background as well, I'm not going to say his name on air at the moment, but his background is really interesting as well. So it's great. Does beer reviews and uh, works for a brewery as well. And you know, after the year and a half we've had, to get out. My wife now, she's going, she's doing her running thing. She's now doing her exercises. And because she's getting out and not stuck in the home more, she's not, the the live reviews don't bother us so much. But you know when I was coming home, coming down the shed, getting drunk and then going back up the house, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the best way. <laughs> Although I've just spent two hours cleaning the pissy floor in the bathroom, so... <clears throat> Well, not pissy, but certainly, you know, not nice. And then tomorrow, I'm, I'm doing the downstairs toilet tomorrow. Oh, I'm doing a spring clean of the house. Absolute spring clean. So, and that's after a day at work. Sucker for punishment. I, I've not seen anything. I haven't, I haven't got a clue. I know Lincoln Green aren't going to be there. So there will not be any Raggy's Golden Ale at the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Will there be any at uh, Robin Hood? I don't know because uh, what I did notice, I moved the cask today at work and it's got a best before date of the 2nd of the 9th, which means that there's no chance it's going to be still in date, uh, technically, for, for Robin Hood Beer Festival. Unless they, unless when they cask it, 
it can last longer. It's something I don't understand. You know, if I was going to put something into a homebrew barrel, as long as it's sealed and I don't crank it open, six or seven months it can last. It's on the Facebook page. Why is it out? Has it just gone on tonight then? Because I've not seen that. Yeah, you need to get your house project done, mate. Before winter sets in. Although, to be honest, this is the best time of year to go out for a, pit, a booze, isn't it, really, in some ways. It's the winter months uh, when we are going to go through the house. Um, we're looking at putting a new fitted kitchen in. In the dining room as well, funnily enough. So that'd be different. Um, fitted kitchen in the dining room and multiple deck we, we had a new central eating system this year and it's caused leaks throughout the bloody house this pipe work leaking and um so we've had one leak after another it's, it's caused havoc the only good thing about it as well in some ways is the fact that we'll fix the leaks um and uh, we're redecorating anyway so it's not a massive issue it's just annoyance but yeah, we were thinking about putting a new fitted kitchen in and then using the kitchen at the moment, taking out most of it and using it as a as a bit of a cake room for the wife and a bit of a an area of a sink as well. All good fun. Keeps you busy, doesn't it, all this work? I mean, I like a clean house and we've let our house go recently, so it's not dirty, don't get me wrong. But it's not as clean as it was. So we're, we're absolutely blasting through the house. Anyway, not me talking about a bloody ass. Let's go on the bay. So, yeah, very enjoyable. Um, hey, you can get, I get malty on those initially. I get a fruitiness with this, a lovely fruitiness. And to say this is two months out of a draft bowel. Good evening, Rod J. How are you? What time is it in the US? 12 o'clock where you are now, about 20 past 12. How's things in America with COVID? It's a lot more quiet over here now. We Obviously, the scary thing across the world at the moment is climate change. And you only need to look at what what's happened this year across the world. And... Uh, these governments have got some big, big decisions. Quarter past one, right again. Yeah, they've got some big decisions. Um, oh yeah, five hours behind me. Yeah, yeah, you're out the clock and, think, and uh, looking at the thinking it's the time and it's not the time. Yeah, yeah. The world, the world as a whole, has got big decisions. Where they can plant trees, they need to get off their backsides and plant trees, but they also need to. Uh, reduce the sum of the output and these rich countries the mega rich and obviously usa china at the moment are the mega of mega rich with the land space they've got in both the countries they could yeah the vaccine does make you you see i had a cold the other week and it absolutely wallet me and I had all the symptoms of COVID, all the symptoms. And, you know, it got me quite worried and quite frightened in some ways. <laughs> and uh, we had, we had um, tests, all the family did. Nothing, not one of us. Yeah, I, I do think the world needs to op open back up. Just heard that Bang the Elephant aren't going to be at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Well, that's disappointing. One of the best craft beer breweries around. Young upstart craft beer breweries. And not invited. That's a strange play. Mm -hmm. That is a strange one. Yeah, trying to, trying to fit a kitchen. It is, it's nice. First time having this. It's, um, it's basically 
a draft beer put into a panda pot bottle, as you can see. I've had it for two months. You only really you're supposed to drink it after about a week and a half for optimum. And I'll tell you what, lovely, absolutely lovely. And uh, it's slightly hazy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be hazy, but it doesn't bother me in the slightest if it, if it is or isn't. Nice golden looking pour. Like I say, nice maltiness on the nose with there's a fruitiness as well. And a bit of a twang on the nose. But it's been a lovely uh, drink. Can't fault it at all. No, what happened last year, um, I was a bit of a guinea pig for low cost beer, Kentucky. <sighs> Is Kentucky the actual home of Kentucky Fried Chicken? Just out of curiosity. I'm in the, I'm in the, the home of Robin Hood, Nottingham, and me, Dave's in Wales. I'm not, I'm not sure what part of Wales though. But um, yeah, so what they get, I'm not sure if they get the beer on cask or keg. And it's not, it's, it's not. Um, can you actually see the t-shirt? Oh yeah, there we go, Yoda. Right, yo, yeah, that's good then. I do love a KFC. Yeah, my backside don't, but I do love a KFC. The spices, oh dear, oh dear. First time I had a KFC in the US, US, went to KFC on International Drive in Orlando. Walked in, no fries, no gravy. I'm like, what? Yeah, the chicken's there, I mean, obviously. But I says, where's the fries? We don't do fries, we do wedges. Eh? Where's the gravy? We don't do, don't do gravy, and I'm like, what? The gravy is as much as the KFC, <laughs> for me, as the bloody, um, you know, as the, as the chicken is. Yes, I was, I was most miffed. But anyway, <laughs> one must move on. I didn't mean to be 22 minutes reviewing um, a bit of lager. In-laws are in Dallas. Bless, but it's warm down there. Um... <clears throat> Good place for oil, though. Thank you very much. Be interesting to see on the brewery list. I've just had um, a good friend of mine who, who runs the Bang the Elephant Brewery, a fantastic brewery on the Derbyshire Nottinghamshire border, and they're not they're not at it, and I'm absolutely gobsmacked about that. I do know Magpie Brewery are there. I do know Castle Rock Brewery are there only because I've read it. Um, and Castle Rock, their new DIPA that I reviewed last night is there. Although that was such a laggy review that I might have to review it again and do a shorter, non-live, um, non-laggy review. I hate laggy reviews because they just they do your head in. All I can see is my mouth moving about three seconds after I've said something. Liquid light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are good. Neon, I'm so, uh, Neon Raptor, it's where Neon Raptor are, so they'll obviously be there. Um, strange bang the elephant on. Braybrook, never heard of them. No. So, uh, for me, a lovely Bavarian lager. Uh, like I say, malty, a little bit of a twangy nose, there's a fruitiness to this. And very enjoyable. Yeah. Would I drink it again? Nova Monka there. Ooh. That'll be interesting. Oh, my God. I can see a very steamy night. It's only on for five hours. Ten o'clock's far too early to go. Um, there's, about, there's, there's pubs nearby, though. There's a micro pub round the corner. Partisan Tavern. There's King Billy. There's a Castle Rock pub. So we can be out till late. <laughs> then get a taxi back. Yeah, job's good and or walk. I don't mind walking, I don't. Walk, bag of chips, walk. It does, doesn't it? I'm sure Craig will be up for it. He sounds like the Jedi Master. I know I'm wearing a Jedi t-shirt, but he sounds like the Jedi Master of uh, all that. Uh, 
So, would I drink this again? Yes, 4.9%, very good. And this, this um, for the likes of Smiling Grape, aka, lo AKA lowcostbeer.com, two months later, and still amazing. Just goes to show you. Companies that need to get rid of cask beer because they've got too much or whatever, using low cost instead of chucking it, it's a very interesting way. A very interesting way of getting your beer out there. Out of five, for me, against other lagers, definitely a good 4.4. I actually really enjoyed that. A red card? Yeah, I won't get red cards that weekend. Well, as long as I eat some chips. Yeah. <laughs> right. Got a restart coming back with a glass house brewery beer. Never had one from them, so back in about two minutes. Cheers all, and thank you all for joining. Hope my blooming internet.